There's a growing number of multiplayer focused games out on PS4 and a new one called Guilt Battle Arena is trying to stand out. But is this game guilty of being great or is this one battle that ends in defeat? Guilt Battle Arena is a multiplayer focused game with a couple of modes and up to four player local multiplayer. A majority of fun here in the game will be in the versus mode. Here, once everyone has selected their characters with up to four people playing, you then also can select a variety of different options, such as selecting the arena that you play on, some game modifiers such as characters always jumping or an increase in speed every 10 seconds or so, as well as you can also play for how many wins you have to get in order to be declared the overall winner, like best of three or best of five. There's also a few different match types to change things up as well, such as having a capture the flag option where every few seconds whoever has the flag is safe, but everybody who doesn't have the flag ends up getting shot with a cannon. However, for me, even with all the different modifiers that are included, and there is a decent amount, there just really isn't a ton here to the game. The core gameplay itself leaves a little bit to be desired. How matches work is each character has three health and has one gun that has only a single bullet. In order to fire it, you'll have to make sure that you have your one bullet, so every time you fire, you have to re-pick it back up in order to fire out again. Your character, though, is always moving, so in order to change directions, you'll have to hit left or right on the joystick or D-pad. You can double-tap it to dash, as well as quickly press down on the D-pad when you're in the air in order to quickly come down to get away from enemy attacks or deliver a quick attack to somebody on the ground. Whenever a character runs out of health, they're eliminated, and whoever is the last person standing is declared the winner. Of course, the modifiers will change up the game a little bit. The co-op mode is basically a pretty standard horde mode, where you and a friend are taking on an endless stream of enemies that are coming your way. Every couple of waves, the speed increases, making things much more difficult. Your main overall goal is just to survive as long as you can in order to try to get a 3-star rating, which you're rewarded for getting a certain number of kills. This is as close as the game ends up coming to a single player of any sort. There are multiple arenas, and each arena has a few different gimmicks that they're throwing at you, but it's basically still the standard horde mode. Just because you're changing the way that the enemies look, doesn't really change the fact they're still coming at you in the same exact patterns and same kind of attacks. If you are able to earn enough stars, you will take on a final boss, but other than that, the game doesn't really feature a whole lot of story progression or anything like that. My biggest issues are that the enemy variety is pretty lacking, the weapons on them are quite large, it's very easy to get hit multiple times quickly since there's very little invincibility frames, as well as even in co-op mode, if your partner dies, the map instantly ends instead of having you being able to survive and just keep going even if your friend has ended up losing all of their health. If they just had this option, it would have made the game a lot more enjoyable. The thing is with the game, unless you're going to have a lot of friends that are going to consistently play the game with you since it's only local multiplayer, no online play, as well as the co-op mode really doesn't have a ton of variety and only has a couple of levels, the game gets boring pretty fast. From the technical side of things though, the game ran smoothly, I didn't run into any major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Guilt Battle Arena is available now on the PS4 for $14.99, it does have a platinum trophy and it's a pretty easy one to get. You will have to get all 3 star ratings though in the levels in order to get it. Overall, Guilt Battle Arena can be fun for a little bit of time, but its overall simplistic nature as well as its lack of features and pretty much lack of any sort of single player here, Guilt Battle Arena Overall, Guilt Battle Arena is okay in small doses, and especially only if you're going to have friends to play along with you. Overall, Guilt Battle Arena is a little bit fun in small doses with some friends locally. The lack of online multiplayer, the horde mode for the co-op being just okay at its best, as well as just an overall lack of modes. You have a lot of unlockable costumes for the characters, but that doesn't change anything other than the appearance of the characters. No even different stats or anything different about each of these characters that you get to choose from. If you are interested in a lower budget multiplayer focused game on PS4, you may want to check out Marooners. It was released last week, it's cheaper, and has a lot more going on in it than this title. With everything said though, I'm going to be giving Guilt Battle Arena a 4 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.